Hey everybody, it's Travis speaking. Today I want to take a look at AutoCAD 2013 and show you how you can customize your interface so that it makes your workflow a little bit easier. Once you get used to a certain set of tools, you're going to want to see those static and have them remain in the same place. And one of the nice things about workspaces is that you can simply come up to the top and click on whichever style of drawing, modeling, work that you're going to be doing and simply click on it and you'll notice that the interface changes to give you the tools that you'll need. So what I'm going to do is go back to AutoCAD Classic because for today's tutorial we want to just look at some simple drafting tools. I'm going to keep this tool palette off of this new interface that we're going to create and I'm going to start cleaning up some of these toolbars. So I've got a couple toolbars here, a layer order, I'm going to bring over this one to the other side. This is actually for a customer who has requested uh, a customized interface. So what they wanted to do was have things look like what we're going to create here. So they wanted this toolbar underneath and they're going to want this one as well but they don't want the styles. So you can check out which which toolbar you're actually looking at. They want the style so I'm going to move this one back up and I'm going to take the layer one off. Now there were some additional tool, toolbars that they wanted so what we're going to do is we're going to right click in any of the gray areas on the ribbon and under the AutoCAD option there's a flyout for more toolbars. So they wanted the dimension and they also wanted the zoom they wanted text and they also wanted the object snap so we're gonna come down and grab that one last but not least and I'm just gonna grab this one and place it in the middle and now we've got three columns instead of two so sometimes you'll see that AutoCAD will try and flatten these out and give you as much uh, model space real estate as you can so you can simply grab the toolbar by grabbing this dotted symbol here at the top and just moving it into the middle. So now that we have our workspace all set up the way that we want, we want to actually give it a name that we can go to easily anytime we need to get back to it. So to do that, I'm going to come down to this workspace icon down here at the bottom and I'm going to say save current as, we'll call this one central. And I'll save that. And then I'm going to come to the customize. So now when I come up to my workspaces, you can see that I've added an additional workspace. But I want to make sure that this stays here. So I need to come to the customize menu. And now that you see that I have central as current, I need to save this COIX file. So if you look over here, you'll see the file name of the current um, customization file that you're looking at and so what I'll do is I'll just bring down this drop down menu oh excuse me I'm gonna come over here to the transfer tab instead and in the transfer tab I'll come to the drop down menu and I'll say save as so I could call this central and it'll be a brand new COIX file and it'll still contain all those other workspaces so I can save that or what I could have done was just saved it as the ACAD COIX file which would be what it opens by default so now that I've got that set up if I want this to open up as the central COIX file every time what I need to do is change that in my options. So I come to options by typing it in. You can also get your options from the application menu. And I'm going to come over to files and where you see customization files, I'm going to expand that and expand main customization file. And I'm just going to change that over to central and hit open. Now I'll hit OK and you'll see that if I go to this area here you can take a look at this 
path, it's program files, Autodesk, AutoCAD 2013, user data cache, EN, US, support, and there should be a new central COIX file. So now when I go to my shortcut, it's changed and it won't open up the actual ACAD COIX, it's going to open central. So that's how you change your um, beginning interface for AutoCAD. If you have any questions, drop us a line at support at idesignsol.com. And thanks again for watching. Bye now.